Hello everyone and welcome to another what's for dinner on WW. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what we had for dinner this week on WW, as well as showing you what my personal points are for all of these meals. As always, I will either have links to full recipe videos if I have done a previous video on one of these meals before, or in those videos description boxes, you will find the full list of ingredients, instructions, and links to my recipe builder where you can find out what these meals points are for you. And if I haven't done a previous video on one of these meals before, I will have all of that information down below in the description box as well. But let's get started and see what we had for dinner this week. First up are sheet pan chicken fajitas. Like most sheet pan meals, these are really easy. Cleanup's easy, but these are very good. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add in a pound of boneless skinless chicken breast that I have just kind of cut up into strips. And then to that, I'm gonna add in a red onion that I've diced and then a red and yellow bell pepper that I've diced up into strips. Next, I'm gonna add in a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm gonna add in some fajita seasoning. Now, I just made that myself. I will try and remember to link the recipe that I used for that down below in the description box. Now I'm gonna just mix all that together to get that chicken and those veggies nice and coated. And then I'm gonna take a cookie sheet that I've lined with foil, and I'm going to just put all this on top of that and then spread it out evenly on the pan. And I'm gonna bake this at 425 for about 20 minutes or so, or until that chicken reaches an internal temp of 165. And then at the last five minutes or so of cooking, I'm gonna take some tortillas and I'm gonna put them in a little foil pouch here and then put that in the oven with my fajita mix. And here's what it looks like when it is done. And here is dinner tonight. Now that makes about four servings of two fajitas. And the points on that for me are gonna be five points. I went ahead, added a little bit of fresh salsa, some fat-free Greek yogurt, a little bit of sliced avocado, some fresh cilantro. And then I also have half of a lime there and I'm gonna just squeeze some lime juice on top of those for a little extra flavor. But these are very, very good. And as I said, they're really easy to make and cleanup is so nice because you just pull that foil off and that is it. But five points for dinner tonight. Next up are air fryer pigs in a blanket. I absolutely love these things. I make them all the time. And tonight I had to use up some hot dogs, so that's why I made them. But they're very good. They're very, very kid friendly. My son loves them. And they're another two ingredient dough recipe, which I absolutely love the two ingredient dough. They start with a two ingredient dough, which is just a cup of fat free Greek yogurt and three quarter cup self rising flour. You're gonna just mix the two of those together really well until they start to form a dough. You're then gonna take that dough and on a lightly floured surface, you're gonna knead it for about two to five minutes or until it is workable. Then you're gonna take it, roll it into a ball and cut it into eight equal parts. You're then gonna take each part and you're gonna roll it out until you get kind of a triangle shape like this. And then to that, you're gonna add a slice of this Velveeta cheese towards the top Next, you're gonna add one of these ballpark white meat smoked turkey franks to the top, and you're gonna just roll it up. And then just continue that process for the rest of them. And once you've got them all done, you're gonna take a beaten egg, and you're gonna just brush that on to the tops of all these, and that is just to give these a nice golden brown look when they're done. And then you're going to sprinkle a little bit of everything bagel seasoning on all of them. You're then going to air fry them, four at a time, I can get in mine at 400 degrees for about four to five minutes. My air fryer is a little bit hotter, I think, than a lot of them. So mine usually only take about four minutes. But you're gonna air fry them until they are nice and golden brown like this. And here is dinner tonight. I've got one of those, which for me is four points. 
then along with these, we're also having some steamed Brussels sprouts. We really enjoy Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people don't, but we really do. And I've just got those plain, so nothing on them and zero points for them. So all together, that's gonna make my dinner total for tonight four points. And definitely worth it. Like I said, these are delicious. They really taste like you're eating something that you shouldn't be. Last up is cheesy chicken and broccoli quinoa. I always say this is one of my favorite ways to have quinoa because it definitely is. It's cheesy, it's yummy, and it's healthy on top of that. So definitely one of my favorites. This one starts with steaming up some broccoli. I am using fresh this time, but you could use frozen. I kind of mix it up depending on what it is I have on hand. But you're gonna just get your broccoli steaming before you move on to the next step. And then over in a large pan, you're gonna melt up some butter spread. I'm just using Brummel and Brown here. That's my favorite and my kind of go-to butter spread. Once you've got that melted, you're gonna add in some flour and you're gonna stir that in for about a minute or so. And then you're gonna add in some milk. I'm using almond milk this time. You're then gonna continue to stir this until it thickens. Now, I will say a whisk works a whole lot better for this, but since I'm using a nonstick surface pan and I only have metal whisks, I'm using my wooden spoon there. So you're then gonna add in some black pepper, some cooked quinoa. I just cooked mine in my rice cooker. It's nice and easy that way. Your steamed broccoli. And then you're gonna add in some chopped boneless, skinless chicken breast. Mix all of that together really well. And then add in some cheese. And this is 40% less fat cheese. I get it at Kroger. You're gonna stir all that together and then you're gonna add in some fat-free Greek yogurt. Stir that in. And then once you've got this all stirred together well, you're gonna take a nine by nine pan, spray it with a little cooking spray and pour your mixture in there. Then you're gonna spread that out in the pan nicely and then top with some more low-fat cheese. Once you've got this all topped with your cheese, you're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes or until it looks like this. And here's a serving of it and kind of a close-up shot of what it looks like inside. The stuff is so good. So that is a sixth of the total. And for me, that is seven points. Along with that, we're also having a little bit of the salad, getting that used up for zero points. And for salad dressing, I'm gonna be using some of this Kraft Zesty Italian fat-free dressing. And I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of that, which is zero points. So that is gonna make my dinner for tonight seven points. And that was everything that we had for dinner on WW this week. I hope maybe this gave you guys some ideas and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you on the next one.